Hey guys, back with a awesome knife unboxing, show and tell. Um, let's check out a sweet knife. Uh, this one, as you can tell, is from Custom Knife Factory. A company, um, a, sorry, take a drink of my cold brew. A company, um, I don't know if you'd call them a manufacturer. I guess they would be a manufacturer, but a facilitator of amazing knife uh, collaborations with custom makers. Um, if you don't know anything about Custom Knife Factory, give them a Google, look them up on YouTube. Phenomenal stuff that they're doing. I love the idea, and I can tell that uh, they're pretty addicting, to be honest with you. Um, those of you who watch my channel know about my uh, Evo, the 2.0, the 3.0, and uh, now adding this guy to the stable. So without further ado, let's open it up. Really nice packaging. Custom Knife Factory always has. Um, this isn't how it came new. It came wrapped and stuff, but for time, I've kind of already taken it out. And as you can tell, this is the Custom Knife Factory um, Anthony Morfione and Anton Malashev Sakosha. Let's see what we've got in the box. Sakosha knife, designer, Anthony Morfione, Anton Malashev, M390 or Dama still. This one's got M390. Um, titanium. We've got carbon fiber. Uh, Zerkutai clip. Um, and there's my numbers. This one came out in 2022. And it's number 1021. Let's see what else we've got. We've got the the other clip. Very cool. Um, this these came with both. This is the standard clip, which has got the Custom Factory logo and Anthony Marfion's dagger uh, logo, which is awesome. Sakosha CKF Anthony Marfion. Uh, very cool. I love that. The that's other thing I love about this brand is the fact that they come with. Um, Tools, they come with extra hardware. Um, let's see what we've got in here. This should be, yeah, I mean, everything. I mean, extra pivots. Uh, I mean, guys, it, this is awesome. I wish every knife came with it like this. Um, extra thumb studs. I mean, it doesn't get any better. That's awesome. They definitely don't mind you taking apart your knife and, um, messing with it and as long as you know what you're doing you can't really i guess you can hurt it but um to see a manufacturer trust their customer with their own product is awesome i love that so uh, i like to take apart and clean my knives and oil them and sharpen them and things like that and so i love to see that so yeah the sakosha uh titanium folder uh done by anthony marfione of microtech knives and Anton Malashev, he is the, it seems kind of like, I don't know if he has his own custom work, but he definitely seems to be a, like an in-house designer for Custom My Factory. There, he's done knives like, I think the Sukhoi is his design. Um, beautiful knife. Check that one out. Give that one a Google. Um, beautiful knife. And um, and then Anthony Marfione, you know, this one reminds me immediately of the SOCOM series, which is his manual folders. This is um, a little bit larger, I think, than those. But those are also liner lock knives, which is what this is. Um, beautiful liner lock. Um, I'm colorblind, guys, so I'm. I, that's one of the really sucky things about doing this channel for me is the colors. Um, I think this is a bronze um, color, uh, bronze anode titanium is what it looks like to my eye. Um, so yeah, bronze, uh, acid stone washed black on the um, hollow grind of the blade. Uh, beautiful belly on this thing. Um, satin flats. Um, there's the lock up. With the it locks up kind of like an umnums on with the your uh, I'm sorry I'm drawing a blank on the thumb studs thank you the thumb studs act as your lock up along with the embedded nested liner lock um, this one has got a decent amount of milling on the inside and also on the outside with that carbon fiber so um, 
definitely a big knife. Let's compare it to uh, Sabenza. You can kind of get an idea of the size. Uh, definitely, I would say a full size large folder. Uh, chunky, um, thick, even compared to the Sabenza. Not the Sabenza is not a big knife, but you can tell. Definitely a full size knife uh, for sure. Guys, the cool factor of this knife when I first saw it was off the charts. And unfortunately, I saw this when they first came out and it was in a very, uh, wasn't, wasn't, I, I, I actually thought this knife was a lot more expensive than what it is. Um, for some reason, I just saw it and kind of dismissed it as being a custom Anthony Marfio knife. And those always have a very hefty price, price tag. I wasn't as into custom knife factory as I am now. I didn't know as much about them. And um, sort of just to dismiss this as something that I wasn't really, really ready to drop the money on. Um, since finding more out about custom knife factory and this one in particular, I was like, I have got to have one. I think the cool factor of this thing is just off the charts. I'm a big Microtech fan, as you guys already know. Um, who watch my channel and, and, and see all the OTFs and stuff. I think their manual folders are slightly pricey for what you're getting, meaning aluminum and M390 um, liner lock knife. Um, they're awesome. They're worth it. They uh, have been around for a very long time. I know a lot of military members have carried them uh, overseas, and they've held up very, very well. Um, they don't come out very often and when they do, they, they sell out pretty quickly. Um, but this one being full titanium, uh, on bearings with M390 steel, carbon fiber, Zerkutai, um, they have gone up since they first came out. I think the original asking price was somewhere around the five, $600 range. Um, they've crept up a little bit. Um, this knife, I feel like was a very polarizing custom knife factory. It seems, um, most people I think gravitated towards the polished or satin finished blade without the black. Um, that one I feel like has gone up a little bit more than this one has in price, but they've crept up there. I think you can see them regularly for around 700, 750, some, some North of 750, um, I don't even remember what I paid for this one. I got it recently off Facebook. A really nice guy sold it to me. If he's watching this video, video you know who you are. Thanks, dude. I love it. It's uh, thank you for the for the good deal. Um, I think I paid around. I think I paid around seven fifty, maybe if I remember. It's been a few weeks and I just forget. So I think it was around seven fifty. Totally worth it in my opinion. I think for what you're getting. Um, I think for getting an off the wall. Custom, um, not custom, but a essentially a custom Marfione, but in a different way, um, and in a collaboration. Anything that Marfione does, say what you will about the guy. I, I don't know. Um, people complain about him and stuff, but I think anything the guy does, it always ends up freaking awesome. And he's just got an eye for design. He's got that cool factor. I mean, look at his logo. I mean, come on. That's freaking awesome. So anything he does, I think is awesome. And I think a manual folder by him is even cooler. Um, I love the coloration of this for me personally. I love the black with the carbon fiber and the bronze titanium. I love the real big pivot. Um, it's just, it's sick. Um, it's sick. I love the, uh, the clip on this, the 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 Zerkutai clip is beautiful. It's hard to see if you put some Windex on it, it really shines, but it's just gorgeous. Um, it's reversible left or right. You just remove the uh, the uh, glass breaker and swap it. The lockup is perfect. I've got mine cinched down where I like it. You can adjust this pivot um, and definitely make it a lot freer. That's kind of how it came to me, I, I tightened it down a little bit. I like my blade to stay where I put it and not chop my fingers off when I go to close it, uh, especially when I close it like this and I get to there. Some Evos and things like that, they'll come and they'll just freaking drop right then and there, right on your finger. I just don't love that. I like it to stay where I put it, wherever that is, 
and then a little shimmy and it falls on its own weight. That's exactly where I like mine to lock up. Um, but yeah, the Custom Knife Factory Sakosha, gorgeous blade. Mine's perfectly centered. There's zero blade play whatsoever when locked up. Zero blade play when you take the uh, pressure off the lock. The carbon fiber has a beautiful um, kind of, it reminds me of a Japanese Zen garden is what it reminds me of. A beautiful wave pattern through it. Kind of marbled carbon fiber. Uh, the stone washing of the titanium is excellent. The backspacer is awesome. I love how it's very solid and it looks kind of like a uh, integral. And then you get up here and you can tell that it's not. I love that look. I think it looks awesome. It's just a sick blade. It's just cool. Sometimes I get, you know, a Chris Reese of Benza, you know, we, we've, everyone's talked ad nauseum about what these things represent in the knife community, what they are. They're a tool. They're very, very precise and elegant and excellent. And you could argue you don't really need anything more than what a Sabenza can offer you. But as far as cool factor goes, and don't get me wrong, they're cool. Chris Reeves are cool. I, I love carrying this. It's very elegant. I love the way it carries. It's just titanium. It's made in America. I, I love all that. Um, but the cool factor, I mean... Two slabs of titanium, a rocking R logo, blue thumb stud, stonewashed or bee blasted titanium, bee blasted. Um, and then, come on. They're just different. They're both awesome. Don't get me wrong. I freaking love my Chris Reeves. This is not a knock against them, but they're just different. This is just wicked cool the dagger the Damascus. i mean it's just it's the same story with the rotten evo there's a reason why that knife is super popular and people buy them and sell them like crazy it, they're just wicked looking they're cool looking they're a different type of blade shape we're not talking necessarily about just usability uh or function this is really all you need this will handle anything you throw at it they've been around forever they're bulletproof um, bad deployment by me. So much harder to do behind a camera. Um, but the cool factor, if you're just, you know, talking about that alone, this knife has it in spades and it is definitely what drew me to it. I absolutely love it. This one is not going anywhere. If anything, I might pick up the, another one with the, um, the, I can't remember if it's a satin or polished blade, but it doesn't have the black. It doesn't have the black acid wash on it. Um, I think it's satin finished, hand rub satin. I might pick that one up at some point. Um, I just love this knife. I carry it all the time. Yes, it's a little bit heavy. It's a little bit chunky, but it it's slim in this dimension. Um, it's a very deep carry pocket clip, which. Everybody who watches this channel knows that that's what I prefer. I love this clip. This is a superb wintertime carry for me. I tend to carry bigger, heavier things in the wintertime when I'm wearing a jacket or you know a coat or whatever and jeans and boots and things are a little bit heavier anyways. I throw this in the pocket. In the summertime when I'm wearing shorts and flip-flops, um, I'm usually wearing, you know, rocking a Spyderco or something like that that's really lightweight. So um, great wintertime carry for me. I've been carrying it a lot. It is just, it's awesome. I know I keep saying it, but the cool factor, Sakosha, I'm not sure what that means. Um, I meant to look that up before I did this video and I completely forgot. Um, I'm guessing it's, I think Anton Malashev, I think he is a Russian designer. Um, so I'm guessing it means something in Russian, but, um, and I would look it up right now, but I'm using my phone to film this video. So, um, yeah. What else is there to say about it? I think that's about it, guys. Um, let me know your thoughts on the Sakosha. Uh, definitely want to get more custom knife factory knives. I hope they keep making stuff like this. I hope Anthony Marfione does more releases like this. Maybe this one, like, but in a miniature size, um, kind of like the small Sabenza, maybe just a slight hair bigger. That would be awesome. Maybe change up some of the colors, the blade finish. 
um, do it in some cool exotic steel in 398 or Magna Cut or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I think there's more to be done with this, in my opinion, and I would love to see it. I would definitely buy it. Um, kind of like they've done with the Rotten Evos. You've got the 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, different sizes, a little bit different unique features. This knife, I think, is worth investing that into it, personally. Um, probably not going to happen just because I know Marfione, Anthony Marfione, is already busy doing all the other extensions to his um, lineups and... Um, the Annex, the, the production version of the Annex, and the Bravo, Soak on Bravo, and things like that. So probably not going to happen, but never say never. All right, guys, I'll leave it at that. I know it's a long video, but I really love this knife. Um, huge shout out to the dude I bought it from. Uh, don't want to say your name, but you know who you are. Um, appreciate you guys all watching. Please like and subscribe if you're not, so I can bring you guys more awesome content. Um, let me know what you guys like to see, what you don't. I really do appreciate um, you guys watching and the support and um, want to make this channel as good, I, as good as I can. So definitely more content to come. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Um, see you later.